Um, I slept well, uh, I mean, relatively well uh, to how early we had to wake up. It was a 6.30 wake up call, so it was uh, an early alarm, but um, I managed to fall asleep around 11, got my, my seven, nearly eight hours sleep, and, um, and I slept well. But this morning when I woke up, I immediately felt um, a bit of goosebumps. I immediately felt like it was going to be a special day and that it obviously required full focus and uh, full determination and uh, it's been a good day since then. I mean, first impression you cannot imagine. I mean, for how much I can explain to you, it's impossible for me to put into words really what, what goes through, through my mind. From entering the Fiorano track uh, and entering the f more the Ferrari world, you know, and. Uh, seeing the mechanics, seeing the car with the number 55 on it, seeing your name, it sounds like a, a small detail, no? But it's seeing your name on, on, on a Ferrari car with your number is something that uh, you will never forget. And uh, today seeing that, uh, it was just incredible. It was, yeah, I mean, once I put my helmet on, once I focus and I jump into the car, Everything went uh, more or less as planned. Um, I say more or less because there's always some things uh, uh, that you expect and others that you don't. But uh, once you put your helmet on and you go into full race mode or full uh, testing mode, let's put it like that, uh, everything uh, felt uh, very, very normal and I could get the, the day done. I could do my laps, uh, no mistakes, and, um, and, uh, and get everything done. But uh, until then, you, you never know. in many, uh, many areas. Of course, it's not the 2021 car and it's very different tires, very different regulations. But today we, I got my first taste of a, of a Ferrari Formula One car. I got my first try at the steering wheel, looking at all my systems, looking at the way I'm going to perform um, some of the starts. Uh, I'm going to also uh, practice a lot talking with my engineer, practice changing all the switches on the steering wheels that, as you guys can imagine, Formula One cars nowadays have a lot of procedures, uh, getting to see my mechanics that I'm going to work with. I don't know, there's a lot of details out of this test that I'm going to find useful. But overall, uh, the day went really well. Uh, the only thing that I couldn't try, obviously, is the 2021 car that uh, this we will try in, in March. <laughs> Yeah, actually, one week ago we were at home, and uh, and it was a conversation that was always going to happen, uh, where uh, it was time to go to Fiorano, and we looked at each other and said, "Look, you want to come? I want you to come. This is a very special day. I know there's COVID, uh, PCR tests to that to do, but um, I would like you to be present on my first day in Ferrari." And and he immediately, obviously, was was happy about it. So. Uh, uh, thanks to Ferrari also for welcoming him. Um, for him, I think he was nearly more nervous than what I was. He knew, uh, probably because I was very focused, he, he was also from the outer, the big picture, knowing what a, what a good day and what a great day was for me, uh, while I was having to stay focused and do the work. You know, uh, I'm, I think he enjoyed it a lot, and thanks obviously to Mattia, Laurent, for showing him around and, and allowing him to be here today, enjoying a, a very special wet day with his son, with myself. There were two banners. There was a banner, a Vamos Carlos, and a Smooth Operator banner. So uh, people are already here in Italy, the uh, Tifosi already know uh, <laughs> know my names and my and, uh, and my my preferences in terms of names. So that's that's a good start. And then at the end of the day, I could have uh, the chance to to go and say hello to them. I got the car, went to to say thanks to them for, for being here, supporting me on, on a very special day and uh, yeah, sharing with them a bit the, the passion and, and, and what a special day was for me.